Hey guys, Alpha Ferg here, and this is UC Davis StarCraft. I've been promising to cast this game for a while to my buddy Ren Nick Dawes, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Ren here is the Red Terran, and he's spawning in the bottom here of Taldry Malter, and he'll be playing against Autumn, the Yellow Protoss. And this is gonna be a TVP. It's gonna be, um, I think, High Platinum League, something like that. Maybe even Diamond. Ren is uh, a very good player, a longtime member of the UC Davis StarCraft Club, came to MLG Anaheim last year, and he's been just a really solid member. He's been a very nice guy through it all. And it looks like he'll just be opening pretty standard on this map. My throat's a little raspy. This is probably going to be my last cast of the day, but it's going to be pretty darn good because I'm excited to see what comes out of this game. I ha like to cast TVPs. I like to see that kind of late game trade off. Who's going to come out ahead? In this late game fights, we'll see if it gets to that point or if it ends a little bit early. We'll see if Ren goes, uh, kind of, there's two paths for Terran right now. There's the, the mech, where you kind of just do what you can. Mech bio. But really, a lot of Terrans just go bio against uh, Protoss. And I'm not sure it's the best, but if you control your ghost well, it definitely uses a lot of more micromanaging. Can definitely come out ahead, but we'll see what Ren does. We'll also see how Autumn chooses to open up. A lot of Protosses try to get the Colossi just to totally smash bio compositions, but they can also rush to High Templar. It looks like, oh my gosh, look at these uh, crazy, <laughs> crazy uh, checking all the bases, but not in the order I would do it. I usually go around in a circle, but he is going across and then up and down, so he will actually scout Ren last. Meanwhile, Ren actually scouting. Uh, there and then up and he's even using kind of these he's checking all of the waypoints as well and he's seeing the probe right there so you can probably turn around when you see each other uh, you don't need to know <laughs> if you're running into a base where you're going so yeah but Ren right now is finishing up his wall in I believe there is a gap right here but you can put down a uh, supply depot or a add-on close that gap is there a gap? Totally looks like a gap. If there isn't a gap, bad job, map, map maker. Uh, but Ren is actually one gate, one racks expanding. Very nice. It's a pretty standard build. You kind of get a second orbital command, and then if it's safe to expand, you do it. If you don't, you just use the mules and double SCV production, and you just kind of bunker up and try to hold uh, an early four gate or something like that. And we'll see what Autumn chooses to do. You can see the double gas right here. We'll see where he decides to spend his gas. Um, if he chooses to put down a Robo or a uh, Twilight Archive, or if he just chooses the four gates, four gate, uh, he may even get a forge and get some like double upgrade gateway stuff going on. Uh, but he definitely has to choose whether he's expanding or one basing right now, as he's going to start getting pretty high in minerals uh, without putting down any more buildings. It looks like he's moving out here with a, pi a probe. May even try to an early pylon no uh, one thing you can do when you're in this position your probes there a little bit early just mine and have a mineral and then when you go back to base you can just uh, drop it off and this probe actually gets smashed by the amount of units out here and Ren is feeling pretty comfortable uh, I think he scouted this probe here so he should know that there's an expand there is the Nexus so Ren should be fine to expand when he wants to. He can just put a bunker or two or three up here, depending on what he sees. If he scans, he may uh, tech up typically to drop ships right now and get a lot more barracks. You can see he'll start getting a lot of minerals, especially with the second orbital command. Uh, throw down the mule and then lift it up, or lift it up and then throw down the mule. In the meantime, let's uh, see if we can identify any tech coming out of bottom. He's only thrown down a second gateway, so he wants to build more buildings soon. You can see there is the third gateway, and Ren is going to start getting two base, two base SCVs, man. Pretty pretty good stuff. Uh, so the actually the worker count should be pretty consistent, but that's kind of what you need to do, and Ren setting up a nice uh, marine wall here to prevent any probe run-ins, but he may want to start getting uh, bunkers, the kind of four gate timing after expand, um, which I also like to see sometimes. It's where you expand and then you four gate, and so it's kind of delayed by a minute, minute, minute and a half, but it still hits pretty hard, and if you don't have bunkers, it's pretty hard to hold, especially if you've expanded. Actually, absolutely if you've expanded. So we'll see if Autumn tries to do that. He does throw down 
a uh, Robo facility, so it could be, you know, after expand 3 gate Robo. The Robo's pretty late, though. There should be an Immortal. You can see he has a ton of gas, so you definitely don't need to invest that much. And uh, can I kill the... Oh, it runs away with 2 HP. That is one attack from the Marine, but that's okay. And both players are going to focus on economy right now. They're just going to get a lot of uh, units. Some uh, SCVs should be coming out from Ren. Uh, but if we're going to get thrown down an NG bay, that's okay as well. And both players are going to build an army. So we'll kind of see how this army develops. It looks like we have only an observer coming out of the Roman facility. It's pretty standard to have that first. But then we should start to see immortals or perhaps even a colossi if he throws down the uh, robotic bay soon. Why did I put my mic here? It's blocking. Sorry if that made horrible noises. Um, yeah, and also follow up there's definitely a gap here if these units are running right out um, but here we go into the factory we should see a stargate almost immediately I can only assume that this is going to turn into a medevac producing facility when you get the reactor on the starport and Ren is just playing pretty standard you know you just gotta get units units out on the field because uh, this uh, is starting to look like a four gate you can see there's five gates now down in total forge there's gonna be upgrades and I wouldn't be surprised to see an immortal so it looks like uh, Autumn's mineral production is actually pretty low. You don't have to focus so much on gas where you forget to build probes and stuff like that, but that's okay. Lots of Marines out right now, and you can see Ren's tech is starting to take off into the uh, nameplate overlay, but he's getting 1-1, one, one, he's getting Stim, he's getting the Mobius reactor upgrade, which is actually pretty interesting. It's going to be for Ghost, increases their starting energy, so you have EMPs earlier, you have Snipes, that kind of stuff. You can cloak for longer if you choose to get nukes and that fun stuff. There's an armory, there's barracks, there's a starport, all good stuff. And it looks like Autumn is just not ready to attack. All of these units are way back here. There's no proxy pylon, so he's going to start trying to kill some marines. These guys are on hold position, very smart. And uh, this is how it's still sitting here. But Ren is going to have a pretty strong army, and with this ghost, actually, it's going to come out and be able to EMP pretty darn easily if he gets a good EMP. He's even moving out here. He's going to start picking away at this army and uh, I think this push isn't going to work too well. There are a lot of sentries here. There's a lot of force fields but it's not going to work out too well. And here is the ghost and right under the observer so uh, Autumn should know what he's up against right now. Maybe should get uh, Templar as soon as he can. He needs Twilight Council for it uh, but one thing he needs to do, he needs to get these uh, into warp gates. So it looks like the push might be coming here soon. Um, he is getting a warp prism and unfortunately has not finished this reactor, but he'll be able to get uh, star medevacs, medevacs soon, which is good. You should see those very shortly. And Ren is going to just start going crazy. If he starts building marines, he'll have a huge army. should probably start getting these, yeah, get these barracks working away at the marines. Awesome. Four marines at a time. Two marauders. Good stuff. He's got a command center going down. More barracks going down. This is what I like to see, man. And he's even taking out the rocks while he has the chance. It looks like the war prison is coming in, and it could do a lot of damage. There is not a uh, sensor tower or something like that. I don't know if it'll be able to be, get scouted, but it doesn't look like it's loaded up with anything. Typically, typically want to put stuff in there, and at the same time, Autumn's getting a fourth. That's okay. Uh, this command center is going to be able to lift off and take a fourth as well. And this army is starting to get pretty darn scary. There's only one ghost, and where did the ghost go? I don't know. Uh huh. I'm blind. I feel like I'm blind. There's the ghost, all out here by himself. Uh, but yeah, so here's the medevacs. You can see the concussive shelves starting to finish. 2-2 on the way. So actually, Ren's going to be way up on upgrades, which is not what you typically see in a TVZ matchup. And uh, these upgrades, this is only plus one armor. Plus one attack. Uh, plus one armor. It looks like it has finished. But without a Twilight Council, he can't go into plus two. So this is going to be pretty, pretty even on upgrades, I would actually say, because they're both plus one in about uh, 20 seconds. And plus two is about 100 seconds off for the Terran player. But this push might actually do well with the Medivacs. He can lift off and set down on the high ground and just do a lot of damage. So we'll see if he chooses to do that. He has a lot of Marines. They have a lot of firepower behind them, especially with the Stim. But oh my gosh, the Colossus comes out at what good timing. Uh, Ren is starting to get Vikings, but it's really hard to run up against Colossus and do a lot of damage. He only has five Marauders. And wow, four Vikings in production. So he 
definitely was like, you know what? I'm gonna kill Vikings when they come out, man. But you know what? Uh, Autumn only built one Colossus. Oh, never mind. There's a second one. Okay, so I was starting to think it was like a fake Colossus, but that's okay. Uh, and here is the warp gate, and it's gonna maybe take out this. Oh my gosh, no! Uh, get out of here, SCVs! Get out of here, man! Uh, this base is completely undefended. Oh my gosh! I missed a huge run in here from the Terran player killing the uh, Colossus so fast, and now the Zealots are gonna go to work, but will there be enough? To take out this unit, another warp in comes at the last second to start mopping up some of these uh, zealots, but will there be enough bio? It looks like the bio is slowly falling, picking off some of the uh, stalkers, picking off a few of the sentries. There isn't much left. Oh my gosh, what a killer EMP there at the last second. You actually kill these zealots with this army, but that's okay. Let's go back and see what damage. Oh my gosh, these guys are still going to work. Uh, these landed vikings are going to be what's going up against the stalkers and some... Zealots being warped in as well. Uh, Vikings never good when they're on the ground. Actually, pick off the warp prism man, and then land. But it's okay. Looks like this army is going to pick off the last of the units. Let's look where both players stand. Um, here comes the final reinforcement army here for Bren to force away this, and now with the Vikings easily picking off the warp prism. So Autumn is actually ten, SC ten harvesters ahead with. Uh, these orbital commands you can see immediately throw down mules so it'll be fairly even he'll have to rebuild that SCV population but it's not too bad for Ren but what Ren really has is he has the upgrades he has ghosts completed he killed the Colossus he has Vikings to kill more Colossi if they come out uh, there is one but he does have a huge supply lead and if he continues to build armies look at this he's even throwing down two more barracks somewhere um, somewhere, I don't know, oh, over here, uh, four more barracks, yeah, he's gonna go crazy into unit production, and he will be able to just build a huge army, and smash down Autumn's front, as long as he remains aware of defending this kind of stuff, <sighs> excuse me, uh, so one thing you can do is get, like, a missile turret, something like that, but it looks like you start to see this Terran army go out of control, 40, uh, 30 supply up, 20 supply up, but continuing to build units and ship weapons level 2. He's getting plus 3 Terran weapons. And you can even pick off this stuff from the low ground if you want to. Uh, Autumn being forced to put some of his barracks, gateways out here. Not sure why he isn't using this area of his main, because you just might lose those... Uh, very smart here, trying to use the Vikings to poke away at the Colossus life. Uh, every Colossus you kill or damage is just that much better. And now he's going to start poking away at these gateways. Like, don't put the gateways out here, man, if you have space in your base. So he's going to lose pretty much everything, and he's going to lose all the pylons. And that's okay. Uh, Ren's macro is slipping a little bit. You can see he has a ton of minerals, and he's totally supply blocked, so he's going to have to, you know, build supply depots when he realizes that. Uh, these two gateways are now being trying to be rebuilt up here, and they're going to die as well. Um, so supply depots, he's using supply drops, he's using, uh, he's going to build three supply depots, maybe even more, man. You got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of units, you got a lot of money here. And uh, these Colossi are actually doing a lot of damage. The first one goes down, the second one is very low on life, and their stalkers, or the zealots are pretty much gone. Um, we're trying to be warped in, but this bio army is actually very, very good and starting to pick away at the zealots. Oh my gosh, another EMP landing perfectly on those uh, stalkers. And now this bio army can force in here. Ren's almost 50 supply up. You can see the kind of composition that he prepared for doing so great. Oh my gosh, these uh, warp gates caught, caught in mid warp. That looks really cool. But he's going to be able to pick off this third, and that could spell uh, game over in the form of W-R-E-N. That's how you spell game over, man, because this base just went down, losing a ton of probes. Uh, another ghost coming in here, throwing down another EMP. Kind of missing, but that's okay, man, because G-A-M-E-O-V-E-R spells Ren, and uh, that's, he's now, you know, 60 supply up. Uh, his has a huge supply lead where he can just build so many units. Five Marines, you can actually build more, man. There's a lot of reactors here, a lot of empty barracks. Uh, he has money, and he's doing fine, man. So as long as he holds some kind of all-in push, it looks like, oh my gosh, Autumn's money is just so low right now. He does not have the probes. Uh, where are all of his probes? 
they're all long distance finding, man. Oh, they never mind. They were all in the midst of being transferred. So this is not good. Ren can just rebuild an army. You can see, look, I mean, look, there's the army, man. He's 80 supply up right now. And he is going to have Vikings. He's going to have anything to crush this. There is one Colossus. There are a few Art Templar, but they don't have Storm Research. Uh, and Storm is not close to being done, and they're only going to be able to be turned into Archons. And you know what? There's a ton of Ghosts! And if he cloaks and EMPs, I don't even see an Observer over here. So this could be Killer. I think that scan is for what... Yep, so he doesn't see an Observer. You can cloak and just get off Killer EMPs. Uh, but he's just playing it safe for now. He's going to wait till he's at 200-200, which he is basically at right now. And he's going to get a ton of Vikings, man. You don't even need Killer EMPs when you have... Just so much more units. He's going to smash down the door. When Ren comes knocking, your face just got socked in. Um, and it looks like Autumn is going on the offensive. He's going to try to do what damage he can. But look at these medevacs, man. Every single unit that gets damaged is going to be getting healed almost instantly. They have tons of energy. They're, these Vikings are going out a-hunting for some early hits on the Colossus. Uh, and I think Ren's afraid of Storm, and you know what? Storm is finished right now, but... Oh my gosh, a huge storm going down, doing so much damage to Ren's army. But this, it's still so much... Oh my gosh, huge EMPs. There's no storms anymore. There's barely any shields, man. You can see all the Archons being turned up. But the final Colossus goes down, and this bio is going to be pretty much unopposed. He's now 100 supply up, taking out all of these units. One Archon is left to defend. It's focusing on uh, focusing down on the Vikings, but you know what? Uh, Autumn says your toss isn't bad when you play against toss, man. And you know what? I gotta agree because that ghost kinda opening, very, very smart, very, very good. These probes don't know what to do. They're just kinda at a loss for words. And Autumn GG's very well played by Ren. I'll see you guys later. I'm Alphaferg.